This is the Let's Pretend story of the Frog Prince. Come one, come all, the big small, we're here with Let's Pretend. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and wonder why until the very end. The joy of storytelling you always do extend. So give a cheer, cause look from here, another Let's Pretend. Hello, Pretenders. Hello, Uncle Ted. Well, we've got an exciting story, and we should get right to it. So, who can think of an unusual way to travel to Let's Pretend? I can. Let's go by trampoline. You mean, bounce our way to Let's Pretend? Sure. Trampolines are fun. All we have to do is keep bouncing until we get that one big bounce that will bounce us up and away. Well, why not? We can do anything if we try hard enough. So, one trampoline, please. Okay, everyone, let's get bouncing! Once upon a time, when enchantments happened a lot oftener than they do these days, a certain kind and handsome prince named Bertram was on his way to pay a visit to a neighboring kingdom. He and his faithful serving man, Henry, were full of good cheer as they rode through the forest, quite unaware of the danger they were soon to meet. Ah, it's a great day to be out on a journey, isn't it, Henry? It is indeed, Your Highness. Why, even an old codger like me gets the notion he's a youngster again. Well, we won't overdo it today, even so, Henry. We'll stop early and ride on to the castle tomorrow morning. And we'll still be in plenty of time for the princess's birthday party. Aye, that's right. Tell me some more about the princess Rosalie, Henry. You said she was beautiful as any maiden you'd ever seen. Aye, that she is, sire. With hair like spun gold and eyes like cornflowers. And does your disposition match her beauty, Henry? Is she kind and sweet-tempered as well as lovely? Kind and sweet as a princess should be, sire. <laughs> and I'm thinking she'd be as fine a bride as anyone could hope for you, lad. What? Oh, now, see here, Henry, who's talking about <laughs> anything like that? <laughs> well, nobody right now, but I just have a feeling when you two meet, there'll soon enough be some talk about wedding bells. Stop! Do you hear me? I say, stop! Hark! Who's that? Good heavens! An old woman up ahead. Whoa, beauty, whoa! Stop! Stop where you are! Not an inch farther! Good madam, if you will stop shrieking and look for a moment, you will see we have stopped. Both my servant and I. How can we help you? Help me? What makes you think I need help? See here, ma'am. Be a bit more courteous when you speak to His Highness Prince Bertram, if you please. Don't tell me how to behave. Don't tell me who he is, either. I know he's Prince. Bertram, and he's staying right here in the forest with me. You can ride along now, old man. What? Get out of his highness' path at once now. In this part of the forest, I give the orders, and I'm ordering you, Prince Bertram, to get down off your horse and come with me at once. Really, madam, I'm afraid I can't obey that request unless Your you... Highness, please, don't even speak to her, but let us ride on at once. This is no ordinary old woman, but a witch. <laughs> 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 oh, well, what a clever old man. She is. Look, her eyes flash red. <laughs> They'll flash even redder if you don't dismount and come with me, Prince Bertram. For years I've been looking for a young, handsome prince. To help me in my work. So quickly now. Up, Beauty. Come, Henry, you're right. Come on, Beauty. No, no, you don't. Let go of that bridle, old woman. Let it go. Come with me, Prince Bertram, or take the consequences. Never. I'd rather die than help a witch. Oh, it won't be such an easy choice. You won't die. One more chance, Prince Bertram. Come with me. Never. Then see how you'll like being a frog for the rest of your life. I'm in. Time or end. No, no, stop. Stop, you evil wretch. Oh, your highness, spare your horse. I... Grab 
I can't, Henry. I, I can't move. Get on! Let it be! Oh, no, no, no. It's not so. It can't be. There's your master, old fellow. Looking pretty silly now. Now that he's a great green frog. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't bear it. Oh, Prince Bertram, your highness, sir. Oh, my heart is breaking. I can feel it breaking within me. <laughs> I'll fix that for you, old man. Mina! Oof! What on earth? Thank me, old man. I wished an iron band around your heart to keep it from breaking. Here's another. Tina. Ooh. There. Aren't you grateful? Two iron bands around your heart so it can't possibly break even though your prince has become a frog. Oh. Oh, my dear master, there must be some way to undo this enchantment. <laughs> ah, only one way in all the world. <coughs> but he'll find a way to undo the magic more miserable than staying as he is. Unless he wants to act as ugly as he looks. I'm thinking he'll stay a frog. From this day on! Your Majesty, there's still no sign of Prince Bertram along the high road. Dear me, that's really very curious. The Prince wrote he was most anxious to come and eager to meet Rosalie. Didn't he say he wanted to meet me too, Father? <laughs> no, wait another five years, Evelyn. Your turn will come. But, Nana, I guess we'd better not wait any longer for Bertram. How about it, young people? Shall we go ahead with our surprise party now? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, then, Nana. Will you go and get the Princess Rosalie and tell her... Um, uh, say we're ready for tea. Of course, Your Majesty. And remember, Nana, not a word about the surprise. My land, Lady Evelyn. Do you think I'd be giving it away now? I'll be back with the birthday girl in just a moment. Oh, dear. I'm so excited. Wait till she sees all of us crying to ride. And wait till she sees all the presents heaped up on the table here. <laughs> There she is. Come in. Here I am, Father. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh I never... I... <laughs> Where did you all come from? Happy birthday from us all, daughter dear. And here are the presents, Rosalie. Don't you want to start opening them right away? Oh, yes. Go ahead. We want to see them, too. <laughs> oh, which is the one from you, Father? The big one right here? Oh, how did you guess, Rosalie? Open it. Oh, wow. Oh. Father, <gasps> what a beautiful golden ball. <laughs> Too much of a toy for a young lady just turned 17? Oh, no, no, it's lovely. I never saw anything like it. Nor heard anything like it either, I imagine. Heard? <laughs> Throw it to someone, my dear. Just toss it gently in the air. To me, Rosalie. Oh, all right, Evelyn, catch. Oh. Father, it plays music. Oh, it's the loveliest thing in the world. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Now open my present. Oh, I'm going to open all the wonderful presents here. And then, then we'll all go out in the garden and toss the golden ball back and forth in the sunshine. Does that sound like fun? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. But toss the ball back to me now, won't you, Evelyn? I can't bear to have it out of my sight for a minute. How it flashes in the sunlight. It seems as 
as though I'll never get tired of tossing it and listening to its music. <laughs> Even Evelyn is a little weary of it now. But I'll never be. Oh, no, no. Please, not in the pool. Oh, it can't. It fell into the pool, into the bottomless pool. Now, Your Highness, dear, please don't cry anymore. Oh, Nana, I can't help it. I love that golden ball more than anything. I know it, my dear, but surely your father will get you another. He can't. He's tried. He's had messengers go all over the land, and there isn't another one like it. Well, then, we'll have the pool drained. Nana, you know that's not possible. This is a bottomless pool. Oh, I'd give anything if somebody could get it for me, some way. Oh, oh if I only hadn't been so careless. Oh. Ribbit, ribbit. Only one way to break the enchantment. That's what the witch said. And I've one chance to find out what it is. Ribbit. Ah, here at last. The cave of the winds. Ribbit. 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 Who comes? Who comes to the cave of the winds? Ribbit. It is I, good woman of the winds. I come seeking help. Well, a little frog, what can I do for you, sir? Oh, wind woman, tell me it is true what I have heard all the wild creatures saying up and down the rivers and streams. They say you are a kind enchantress and use your magic only to do good for man and beast alike. Is it true? It is true, little frog. Then help me, wind woman. I am in this shape because of a terrible enchantment laid on me by the Witch of the Wood. Ah, the Witch of the Wood. Oh, she knows the cruelest spells of all. Ribbit, ribbit. But do you know the way to break this one, wind woman? So once again I can be myself, Prince Bertram of Alisan. Yes, I know the way to undo the spell, Prince Bertram. Then tell me, oh, tell me. The spell can be broken in this wise. Somehow, some way, you must find a fair and lovely princess. I was on my way to visit a fair and lovely princess when this spell fell on me. Ah, oh, but wait. That princess may or may not be the one who can help you. You must find a princess to whom you can render some service. You must see to it the princess is obligated to you. And then, listen well now, for this is the hardest part. Here is what you must do to become yourself again, Prince Bertram. Princess Rosalie, it's a week now since you lost your golden ball in the pool here, and you can't go on like this, sitting here, grieving your heart out. Come now, come back with me to the castle. Oh, Nana, please, at least I'm near to the spot where I lost it when I stay here by the pool. Very well, if you won't come in, then I shall bring some hot chocolate and honey cakes out here. And please, please don't cry any more. Don't cry. Oh, when it was my own fault. Oh, why? Why did I toss it so near the pool? Oh. Ribbit. Good luck for me that you did. Oh, who's that? Ribbit. It is I. But who? I, I see no one. Where are you? Ribbit. Here, at the edge of the pool. At the edge of the... But I see only a great green frog. 
Ribbit. Exactly. Oh, good heavens, it speaks. The frog speaks. How can that be? Never mind that. You'd like to have your golden ball back, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. Yes, more than anything. Oh, could you get it for me, Mr. Frog? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Oh, wonderful. If, if you're willing to do something for me in return. Oh, anything, anything. Well, you're very obliging, aren't you? Still, I'll wager I could ask for something you won't want to do. Can I come live with you in the castle? Live in the castle? Why, of course, why not? Eat off your golden plate. If you can bring back my golden ball, of course you can eat off my golden plate. Drink from your own silver cup. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, please, Mr. Frog, get my ball. Wait. May I sleep at night on your silken bed? Yes, yes. I told you anything. All right. I have your promise. Wait here. Ribbit, ribbit. Jumped into the water. He's diving down, down. Oh, will he get it? Will he? He has it. I hear it. Oh. oh. All right, princess. Here is your golden ball. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Father, Nana, Evelyn, listen. I have it back again. I have it back at last, my beautiful golden ball. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Wait a bit. Wait up there. You don't think I got those promises from you for nothing, do you? Wait. Father, Father, look, Nana. Evelyn, only look. Rosalie, we were just about to send for you. Dinner is ready, Your Highness. But look, listen. Your golden ball. Oh, you have it back. Oh, yes. How on earth did you get it, daughter? I thought it was deep in the bottomless pool. The strangest thing, father. An ugly old frog hopped out on the edge of the pool and said he'd get it. Ribbit, ribbit. A frog? A frog said he'd get it? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Listen. Ribbit, ribbit. Yes. What in the world is that? Why, it sounds like a frog. Oh, it is. Oh, and I'm a terrible person. I, I forgot all about my promise. Ribbit. Open the door. Open the door for me. Yes, of course, Mr. Frog. And I'm terribly sorry I ran off and forgot you. Ribbit. Oh, you are, are you? A frog that talks. How does it happen, Mr. Frog? Well, tell us. Ribbit. I'm not here to answer questions. I'm here to get what was promised. Yes, of course, Mr. Frog, and you shall. You see, I am grateful. Now, um, what all did I say I'd do? Yes, just what is all this, Rosalie? Uh, I take it you made some promise to the frog as a reward for getting your ball? Yes, Father. I said he could live in the castle with us and, um... Let's see. Eat from your golden plate, drink from your silver cup, sleep on your silken bed. So hurry up now. Put me up on the table. Well, well, well please, Mr. Frog, you, you, you don't need to be so ugly about it. Yes, my goodness. You don't need to swell up and pop your eyes like that. Rosalie keeps her promises. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. ribbit. Pick me up, pick me up. Please, don't, don't hop around so. I... Oh, Father, look at him. I never dreamed he was this ugly. How can I bear to, to pick him up? Mm, what you have promised you must perform. I... Oh, all right. I... There. there. But don't squirm, Mr. Frog. I'm, I'm putting you on the table. Right here, beside my own plate. Ribbit. All right. Put some food on it. And be quick about it. And where's your silver cup? I'm thirsty. My silver cup? Oh, yes, of course. Here, Mr. Frog. Oh, Father, look. He's, he's half into my cup and he's splashing the water all about. Oh, how can I keep him beside my plate? Oh, he is being as ugly as possible about it. But if you didn't intend to keep your promise, Rosalie, you shouldn't have made it. Put some food on your plate for him now. 
What you have promised, you must perform. Ribbit. Ribbit. My goodness, I don't see why he has to get his feet all over your plate that way, Rosalie. Well, that seems to be his way of getting the food he wants. Well, it's not very pleasant to watch a frog messing up your food while we're eating. All right, Evelyn, that's enough. Ribbit. All right, I've had enough. Now I'm sleepy. Take me up and put me on your little silken bed, princess. <coughs> Just a minute, Mr. Frog. I grant you promises are made to be kept. But after all, my daughter made the promises she did without half thinking. You took advantage of her desire for her ball. Ribbit. I had to. There wasn't any other way. And the thing is, she's done her best to keep them, although you haven't made it too easy. Must you sleep on her bed and force her to go somewhere else? Yes, yes, she promised. She's got to keep the promise. Her bed. Oh, Father, it's as though he was trying to force me to the point where I'd be glad to break a promise. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yes, yes, take me upstairs now. You promised. You put me on your bed. All right. Go along with your sister, Evelyn, and as soon as she's put him down as he wishes, take her into your room. All right, Father. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Pick me up, pick me up, ribbit. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Ugh. All right. Evelyn, open the door. Ribbit, ribbit. Well, here we are with that disgusting creature. Ribbit, put me on your bed, your pretty silken bed. Listen to him. Mother, thank you for all you've done already. I made the promises. I have to keep them. All right, Mr. Frog. Here is my bed. No, 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 no. Turn down the covers first. Fix it properly. Properly, you fool. Oh, oh, enough. I've had enough. Turn down the covers, indeed. I never promised that. Fix it properly. I'm going to fix you properly. I'm going to... Rosalie, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of him. I'm throwing him just as far as I can and just as hard as I can. Rosalie! Oh, what's happened? Good heavens. Please, please don't be afraid, Princess. A, a handsome young man standing there right by the wall where you threw the frog. Where, where did you come from? I threw a terrible croaking frog against the wall and suddenly the frog is gone and you're there. Where did you come from? I was the frog, Princess. But now, thanks to you... I'm released, and myself again. And now, will you please forgive me for acting so horribly? He was the frog. It's magic. That's right, Lady Evelyn. It was magic. Terrible magic. A wicked witch enchanted me because I wouldn't do her bidding. And it seemed there was only one way in the world to undo the magic. For somebody to throw you against a wall? For a fair, honorable lady to become so aggravated with me, she'd hurl me against a wall, yes. And that was what I found out from the Enchantress in the Cave of the Winds. And that was why I had to behave so dreadfully to you, Princess Rosalie. Please, please say you forgive me now that you know. I... Oh, yes, of course I forgive you. The old witch was right. It was harder to keep acting rudely to you than to stay a frog. I thought you'd never lose your temper, dear <coughs> Rosalie. Father's taught us we must always keep promises. That was the real trouble. Yes, and he's right, of course, in most cases. But sometimes, when a foolish promise has been forced from you, it's better to break it. Yes, yes. What will Father say to all this? Oh, we must take you to him at once. Oh, yes, of course. Come, Prince. Oh, my goodness, but I don't even know your name. I am Prince Bertram of nearby Alisan. Prince Bertram? You're Prince Bertram? The one who didn't come to Rosalie's surprise party? I was on my way when I met with the witch who transformed me. Come, come, we must take you to Father. Oh, he'll hardly believe his ears. Just one moment now and we'll be turning in the gate, Rosalie. It must feel wonderful to be coming home again, Bertram. I never dreamed of such a homecoming. With the loveliest princess in all the world beside me as my bride. Ah, here we are. Now, now, for the moment I've been waiting for, putting faithful old Henry's heart at ease about me. Come, uh, let me help you down, dearest. Yes, and then do go find Henry right away. 
Who's there? Who's there? Look, there's Henry now. Henry! Who is it? Who comes? The master's not... A... Oh, no. No, I'm, I'm dreaming. No, Henry, you're not dreaming. It is I. I'm myself again. Prince Bertram, your highness. Oh, master, sir. Oh, you can't guess how glad I am to see you again, either. It's just my heart that's been locked in iron bands since the evil day you were enchanted. It's swelling, swelling inside me. Good heavens, what's that? The iron bands that wicked witch put around my heart are breaking. They're gone. Not needed anymore. My master is himself again, safe and sound. And even happier than ever before. Oh, look, Henry, I want you to meet my bride and the new queen of Alisan. The Princess Rosalie. Oh, ma'am, is it true? You're married to his highness? I couldn't have hoped for anything better. All right, then, Henry. Lead the way into the castle. The master and his bride have come home to live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>